Why do electric bicycles have so much less range than cars? Stay tuned and we'll have a critical look at that issue. The average electric bike has a range of 25 to 60 miles, whereas an electric car can go 250 to 400 miles, depending on the model. For the sake of comparison, we'll work with the average for both types of vehicles, 300 miles for the car and 40 miles for the e-bike. Throughout this presentation, you could make different assumptions regarding the numbers, but in the end it won't change the conclusions. Battery capacity is measured in watt-hours for electric bikes, but with cars, because their batteries are so huge, we refer to them in kilowatt-hours. A kilowatt-hour is 1,000 watt-hours. The average electric car has a battery of about 80 kilowatt-hours of capacity, or 80,000 watt-hours, whereas the average electric bike has a battery of about 720 watt-hours. It should be noted that some electric cars have as much as 120 kilowatt hours of battery capacity, and they're now talking about increasing their batteries to 200 kilowatt hours, or 200,000 watt hours. If you want an explanation of what is a watt hour, you might enjoy my video entitled How Much Energy Does an Electric Bike Really Use? linked in the description. From now on in this presentation, I'll be referring to a 720 watt hour battery as a typical e-bike battery. And in the following calculations, I'll be using 720 watt hours for e-bikes and 80,000 watt hours for electric cars. Now we can calculate the size of battery to travel 300 miles using the rule of three. We just need to multiply 720 by 300 divided by 40 for a total of 5,400 watt-hours. This is the equivalent of eight typical e-bike batteries. But how much would this weigh? Each typical e-bike battery weighs eight pounds. So a huge 5,400 watt-hour battery would weigh around 60 pounds as much as a heavy electric bike. That in itself is a good enough reason why e-bikes don't have 300 miles of range. But there are other reasons. Most people simply don't need a huge amount of range since most people don't do intercity travel with their e-bikes. The weight of a 5700 watt hour battery would make the bike difficult to handle, especially in the city. Most bicycle frames aren't strong enough to hold the weight. They'd have to be built more like motorcycles. That size of battery would be extremely expensive, somewhere around $5,000. It wouldn't make any sense. But 60 pounds of batteries could be carried on a tricycle like this one. A bike with 300 miles of range would be great for a person wanting to travel cross-country while towing a camper without having to recharge the batteries every day. 300 miles of range, 480 kilometers, would be enough for a full week of travel for me. Before we part company, allow me to rant about government policies to reduce global warming. I wanted to find the weight of electric cars and e-bikes in order to be able to compare them, so I consulted an artificial intelligence app called iAsk.ai. I asked for a random list of 20 electric car models and their curb weight. This is the list that was generated. Using these numbers, the average EV weight is 4,342 pounds. I did the same thing to obtain the weight of the average electric bike. 
I asked iAsk.ai for a random list of 20 electric bicycle models and their respective weights and this was the result. From this list, the average e-bike weighs 53 pounds, so now I was able to create this bar graph. We can calculate that the average car weighs 82 times more than an e-bike. 82 times more natural resources are needed to put one of these on the road than an electric bike. More wear and tear on the roads. More traffic congestion. Remember the difference in battery capacity between an e-bike and an EV? 720 versus 80,000 watt hours? That means that the EV battery is 111 times larger than that of an e-bike. We already know that the average e-bike battery weighs 8 pounds, but I didn't have that information for EV batteries. To be able to make a comparison, I asked iAsk.ai for a list of 20 random electric cars and the weight of their battery. This is the list that was produced. This resulted in a range of 507 pounds for the BMW i3 battery to 1,543 pounds for the Audi e-tron for an average of 1,079 pounds. This graph shows the difference between the size of the battery of the average e-bike compared with that of the average EV. This shows that an EV battery is 135 times heavier than an e-bike battery. Now, this is the problem I have. In Canada, the federal government gives an EV buyer a tax-free gift of $5,000 and some of the provinces chip in with their own incentive. It's their way of convincing us to buy one of those environmentally marvelous things that will save the planet. When I bought my e-bikes, I didn't get a rebate, but instead, the government punished me with a 15% sales tax. How much of a freebie did you get when you bought your electric bike? Do you think that the decision makers are really interested in saving the environment? Or do they have some other mysterious agenda? And more in line with the purpose of this video, do you think an e-bike with 300 miles of range would be worth the cost in dollars and extra weight? Tell me what you think in the comments. If you'd like to help this channel, aside from liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, you could buy a copy of my highly praised book, Sailor Without a Boat, How I Sailed on Other People's Yachts and Lived to Tell About It. Thanks for listening to my arguments, and remember, never quit cycling!